Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Tyler Davis with Course Ranks. These days, it seems like everybody has access to a really good camera, whether that be on your cell phone, a DSLR, or even drones. If you've ever thought about using this tool to learn to make high quality content to market yourself or other businesses, then you've probably come across some courses either on YouTube or elsewhere. There are plenty of filmmakers that are willing to teach you this subject, some a little bit better than others. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the most prominent filmmaker courses online right now, and we'll give you a little bit of insight as to what we think about the course and if it could be the right thing for you. That's right, we're talking about Parker Walbeck's full-time filmmaker. First, as always, let's cover the basics. Who is Parker Walbeck? Now, originally, Parker started out as one of the videographers for Devin Supertramp on his channel. And after spending some time there, eventually moved on to creating his own channel and his own content based around teaching others on how to develop the skills of filmmaking and videography. I personally have a connection to this course as this was actually the very first online course I ever purchased. Being a freelance videographer myself, I sought out courses to help me learn that skill set and Parker's was the first one I actually came across through a Facebook ad. I will tell you right now that I've had a lot of experience in this course. I've been a part of it for a couple years now. I've easily recouped the price of this course through revenue that this skill set has given me. Okay, so let's talk about the price of the course. The course is advertised right now at $997. This price has gone up since the past couple years when it was first released, obviously because they continue to add new content. And much like other of these high-end paid courses, once you get lifetime access, they don't make you pay any other fees on top of it. So when they continue to add content, you just continue to receive that as a member. It's the benefit for taking on the early investment. This course also has a 30 day money back guarantee, as well as a staggering 97% satisfaction rating from its students. So now let's take a look at what we get inside the course as far as content and perks. If you scroll down here, you'll see what's included in a premium membership. The premium membership just refers to those that pay the full $997 and get full lifetime access to all of the course and all of the future content that will be released. So if we look down here, we can see that there's 25 plus workshops and over 500 videos included in the course as well as exclusive downloads, discounts, and perks. Here he talks about the cinematics and kind of goes over what it really takes to make a shot go from amateur to really professional. And of course he goes over the editing process on multiple platforms, which is really nice. As we continue down the page, you can see all the many different workshops that they offer, things from travel videos, to music videos, to smartphone videos, to drone mastery, GoPro mastery. They pretty much go over everything that you could possibly need to learn in order to be a successful filmmaker. They even branch out into photography as well with their Photography 101 course. Now, one thing to note is that you can actually purchase each of these workshops just kind of as a one-off deal for the price here. For example, $129 for the Premiere Pro editing course, $147 to master your skill set in something like lighting, all the way down to $47 to just one-up your GoPro skills. However, if you do purchase the premium package and get all of the workshops together, you also get these great discounts, which in my opinion, as a filmmaker are very, very nice assets to have. First and foremost, you'll get access to the private community of over 17,000 plus members. You get big discounts on Adobe software, as well as like Red Giant. You'll also get access to subscription sites like Soundstripe, which has become a necessity for filmmakers today. On top of that, you get a lot of free downloads as far as camera footage, project files, LUTs, transition presets, and so many more things. They give you a budget calculator to help you kind of manage your books as a freelancer, which is really nice. The live Q&A sessions, which they try to do about once every week, um, which you can kind of get on a Facebook Live and just ask questions. I've been on a couple of those and they actually have been really helpful. Although there are a lot of members, Parker and his team do a really great job of getting to all the questions in the chat. So those actually prove to be a really good use of time. They do video contests as well as offer transition presets. And of course, as a premium member, you get access to all future content, which I can say as a student who purchased the course, you know, a couple years ago, the content library has just exploded since then. And I imagine that it will continue to just get bigger and bigger. Now let's actually dive in and take a look at the course. Okay, so you can see here we are on the front page of Full Time Filmmaker. These are where all of the workshops are actually hosted. You can kind of scroll through and see any one of these at one time. You'll notice that a lot of these are not completed um, here because originally when I purchased this course, it was hosted through Teachable. Um, now I believe this is Kajabi that they are on. They've recently made the switch over. So I've kind of looked through a couple of these just to kind of test out Kajabi and see what the differences are um, as far as, you know, the user experience, 
from Kajabi and Teachable. If you want my honest personal opinion, I personally liked the course a little bit better on Teachable. I think it was just a little bit easier to kind of flow through the lessons and see everything over on the side of the screen rather than have to come back through this like main menu and then reselect something and go back in. Just as a quick example of this, when you go into something like YouTube or Pro Workshop, you'll see that you'll have the course curriculum here, but it stops here and you have to go to show more and then you're getting the rest here on this page, but then that goes to page two, three, and four. I just didn't love this layout so much because it's a lot harder to find the certain topics that you're looking for. After having gone through this course a full time um, and needing to go back and look at certain different topics, I felt it was a little bit more difficult now to go back and find what I was looking for, as opposed to when it was on Teachable, it was all just listed on one side of the screen as a lot of these Teachable hosted courses are. And you could just kind of scroll through that and look through the different modules and find the exact lesson that you were looking for. This just makes it a little bit more difficult for me, but I do like the workshop page, how it's all kind of split up into separate workshops. And I do understand why they did that. So beyond that, just looking at how the course is hosted through Kajabi, if we look at the Premiere Pro editing section, for example, here we have the video lessons kind of laid out into separate modules, such as getting started, assembly, how to color. He'll also provide a list of downloads here at the bottom that correspond to what is being taught in the lessons above. And that's essentially the course. The main thing that you wanna see is what you get as a premium member, which is access to all of these different mini courses that are continuing to grow even within the mini courses themselves, as well as new courses being added all the time. If you are one of the people that just purchase a mini course, you can go up to your library and the courses that you have purchased will appear here below. And of course, as a premium member, you'll see all of them. Okay, now let's talk about the pros and cons of this course. The first and biggest pro I can think of is that Parker is a great teacher and he has hired a lot of people to be a part of his team that are great teachers as well. Parker is very good at explaining the topic of filmmaking to both beginners and experts. This is because it seems like he has so much experience in so many different aspects of this business, from working for a big YouTube channel, to owning his own production company, to now owning an online course teaching people how to do filmmaking. On a personal level, I've been to some of the job shadows, I've met some of the, the full-time filmmaker team, I've even met Parker himself briefly, I can say that they're all really great guys, really genuine and have a real passion for this business. Another pro to this course is that the Facebook group is absolutely humongous. Like we said before, there's 17,000 plus members in this group. For some courses, that could be a bit of a negative because you don't wanna get lost in the sea of people that are trying to ask questions or trying to learn more. And you know, your questions could get trampled under hundreds of other questions and you never really get noticed. But for this course in particular, I feel like it actually works out to be a pro because as a filmmaker, inspiration and collaboration are two of the biggest assets that you could have. And this Facebook group provides both of those. You're able to see a lot of different people's work and be able to be inspired by a lot of other filmmakers either at your level or maybe even a little bit above your level. On top of that, connections can be huge too. I've used this group personally to hire out videographers, to find actors, to find different commercial gigs and things like that. It's a great asset for somebody who's looking to build their business and make connections. Another pro, and this should go without saying, is that the quality of the content is top tier. Parker and his team spend a lot of time writing out scripts and making sure that everything that's taught in the lesson is very short, concise, to the point, and very easy to digest for any beginner or expert. And this points to the last pro, which is that Parker actually scripts his videos. Now this can either be a pro or a con for some people. In some courses, it's nice to hear the expert actually just kind of speak and talk to you as if they're having a conversation, and that can be really nice. For example, I don't have this video scripted because I feel like I'm talking to you as a conversation telling you about this course. However, when Parker scripts his videos, he scripts them in such a way that he can deliver the most amount of value in such a short amount of time that the videos don't feel long or lengthy or like he's repeating himself. They're actually really nice to watch. Now let's talk about some of the cons. The first con, like I mentioned before, is just the fact that I personally don't prefer Kajabi as much as I preferred it on Teachable. Uh, again, it's just a little bit easier to find the content that you're looking for on Teachable. Whereas Kajabi, the layout looks nice, but the user experience as far as finding lessons just isn't as intuitive. The next con is that there's so much content provided in the premium version of the course that it can be a little bit overwhelming if you are a new videographer. My recommendation to any new videographers would be to niche down into what you wanna focus in the film of videography and possibly purchase one of the mini courses that will help you really hone in on a skill. Leo, get out. Gosh, dude, 
Once you get really good at that, you can either purchase another mini course or just lead into the full premium course if that's what you want. The last major pro that I could find for this course is that the Final Cut Pro section of the course is really lackluster and it's such a bummer because as a Final Cut Pro user myself, I feel like they're missing out on an opportunity to really help out a large section of the video editing market. I understand that Premiere Pro is still probably the industry standard when it comes to video editing software. However, in my personal opinion, I feel like there are a lot of up and coming users of Final Cut Pro and it's becoming a little bit more popular than it even used to be. So it could be really helpful to boost this section a little bit more. Let me give you just an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are back in the course. If we look at the Premiere Pro editing section and you take a look inside the workshop, you'll see that this course is absolutely robust. He talks about getting started. Like I mentioned, the assembly of, of the timeline and how to get everything in there, how to get all your footage in there as well, how to color it, how to do the audio, how to put creative effects. The creative effects section is absolutely amazing. They talk about everything from warp stabilizer, sky replacement, blurring out logos, light leaks animations, motion titles, presets, all those types of things. They also talk about transitions, export settings, and have a bunch of job shadows for it, as well as a bunch of downloads. Now, however, if we jump over to the Final Cut Pro editing workshop, this one is just significantly shorter. It has the intro, the assembly, the creative effects, the audio, the color, and some downloads. That's about as far as they go with it. I guess my main beef with it is that there's just not enough on the creative aspect of using Final Cut within here about how to use all the different editing styles and transitions and things like that. And I get it, it makes sense. Their team doesn't really use this program as much, but like I said, in an education platform, it'd be nice to be able to reach that section of the audience that does primarily use Final Cut Pro. Okay, so now moving on to the final rankings. As for quality of content, I give this a five out of five with the small caveat, like I just mentioned, that I wish they would build out the Final Cut Pro section a little bit more. On a Facebook Live call not too long ago, I actually reached out to Parker and asked if they had any plans on improving this section of the course. At the time, he mentioned that they do have plans to grow that section a little bit, but it just wasn't in the plans right now and they didn't have anything set in stone. As far as credibility of instructor goes, Parker gets a five out of five. Having the experience of working on a very successful YouTube channel, as well as running a successful business of your own, as well as being able to teach people the course and have a successful online course, I think Parker kind of checks all the boxes as to being a credible teacher. As far as relevance goes, I give this a five out of five. Parker and his team are very good about keeping up to date on the newest technology as far as cameras and equipment and the new softwares for editing, as well as new styles and transitions and things like that. They will keep you up to date on all of it. And lastly, for community and support, I do give this a five out of five as well. The community, like I said, is very large, 17,000 plus but that can be a big pro to somebody in the filmmaking business. And Parker and his team are very good about still being able to respond to students' questions, whether that be through the live or the Facebook group or through direct email. Right here, we'll put up the average course ranks rating. If you're a student of this course or have taken this course in the past, please go to courseranks.com and rate it to help those that are looking into this course for themselves get another perspective on it. All in all, I say the total price for value in this course is very, very good. You are paying about $1,000 for this course, but in my own personal experience, as a student of this course, I was able to regain that cost very quickly through the skill set that I developed. And I had a lot of fun doing it, and it's a skill that's continued to benefit me today. However, if you are looking for some cheaper alternatives, the best alternative I think that you could go to is YouTube. You'll get a lot of free content there. You will have to sift through a lot of stuff that isn't going to be as relevant or might be poorly taught or poorly explained, but you will get it for free, and there isn't a shortage of information on YouTube regarding filmmaking. However, if you are serious into getting into another course. Casey Neistat, one of YouTube's top creators, has just released a film school. This is something brand new that's been open in the past couple weeks. And according to the website, it looks like registration is still open. We'll put the link for it down below so you can check that out. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you're a student of full-time filmmaker or looking to be one in the past, leave a comment down below about what you're hoping this course has, or if you're a student already, what you think the best part of this course is or the worst part of this course. Also head on over to courseranks.com to leave reviews for any of the courses that you've taken on there. Thanks so much for watching guys. And we'll see you in the next one.